Okay, today is October 29th, Saturday, and we're in Canal Fulton. We're doing an investigation of uh, some of the buildings in the city, and this is our first stop. This is the Canal Fulton Public Library, and uh, this was at one time um, a funeral parlor. So um, we're going to see if we can find anything. It's um, notoriously haunted. Um, and the last time we were here was at night and I got some ecto mist on the outside when I took a picture. So we're on hoping the side, right? on the other side, right in the front of the building. So hopefully we'll get something today. Okay, we're on the inside of the library. And that white door is where the cream leads yeah. up to the crematorium. Okay, great. The Canal Public Library, this is a two-story frame building, but it was constructed in about 1880 by Timothy Sullivan. It soon became the showplace home of E.R. Held, a local banker. Held left town around 1900, but kept the property for years, during a part of which time it housed C.R. Daly's undertaking establishment. During the 20s, the house was sold to W. L. Keller, whose family were the last owners. The structure became a public library in 1949 after it had been purchased and remodeled through Mr. and Mrs. George Mulhauser. All right. It's a good history. This staircase goes up to the second floor. And many people have gotten unexplained mists in their photographs on the staircase. And this is a hot spot area for the building. So we'll see if we get anything. Yeah. Okay, and this is the crema old crematorium. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just tell me where you want the light at. Uh, can you point it back further? Point it back there? Thank you. <laughs> okay, so this is where they used to cremate. And was this, like, this was a furnace, I take it, at the time? I'm, yeah, that was before. <laughs> I wonder if that's the furnace cover right there. That's very interesting. Okay. This is the back part. This is all the original basement part, right? Yes. Now, nothing's other than adding furnace, air conditioning, and of course, you know, our telephone lines and things like this. Everything else is the way it was. <laughs> this is spiked to 4.6. Oh my gosh. Did you hear that? A 4.6? Yeah. Spike? And the furnace just went off. Whoa. So. We got a spike on our millimeter to 4.6, but it went down again, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not electrical if it goes down again. Unless there was something else that spiked somewhere else in the building. And it just went through these wires. Yeah, it just air is real thick and heavy right in here. And this is the older, bless you, this is the older part of the building. And this is um, on top of where the crematorium, right? Yes, that's where it is. I'm thinking that's where it is. You feel it really is a strong presence right in here. 
here. You have to get the key from the front desk. I'll do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's still on I was looking at their book set. It's a beautiful library. Okay, this is the outside of the building uh, from Market Street, the front, what they call the front of the building, and this is the older part of the building. This is the one that they've had the most activity in, but they have it all over the library. This booth is one of the areas of the uh, Sisters Century House restaurant that is supposed to be haunted. They have seen many times spirits sitting here in this booth by this door. I don't see any today, though. <laughs> and that's the Erie Canal. That's part of it. We're going to go down to Lock 4 later because that's a really haunted area. How far away is Lock 4? Not very far. <laughs> no, they're not. Look. We're at the Lock 4 Park on the Erie Canal. And this area is supposed to be very haunted because at one point when the railroads started coming through, the, um, one of the workers got upset because he thought he was going to lose his job and started throwing acid at everybody. And um, the people that got acid thrown at them, including the worker that threw it, ended up dying. So it's supposed to be... This area is supposed to be haunted. We'll find out. Okay, that's looking down the Erie Canal from Lock 4. And I believe that's looking north. Right? Going down to Cleveland. Down to Cleveland. And that's looking south. Yeah. <laughs> on the Erie Canal. It's really neat today. Beautiful day. <laughs> this is the lock building that tells everybody that this is lock number four. Still working. It's really beautiful today. Now this is the trail where they buried several of the men that helped build the canal. These all had to be hand dug. 
They didn't have backhoes back then. So there are many men that died building this canal. It was probably a brothel on the way down. The guys going down on the way down. Probably. There were at every, at every lot. Yeah.